After taking a damp cloth and my iron back on uh, medium heat, I was able to go over the uh, top of the cabinet uh, numerous times and what that does is raise the grain. And it also allowed uh, some of the adhesive, uh, again thinking maybe it was hide glue that was used to um, kind of push this top back down. So followed by some light sanding, I've got this uh, surface uh, as flat as I can uh, get it. I also took some time, I was able to lift this veneer in this big area that's split right here and uh, get some glue underneath there and clamp it uh, for 24 hours. So um, it is what it is and uh, we'll have to live with this. I'm going to uh, pull out the uh, wood filler I'm going to use to try to fill some of these voids before applying a stain to the radio before applying a grain filler and toner lacquers. Over the uh, last few years I've moved more to uh, water-based products and I plan on doing the same for uh, all my lacquers as well in the future. And I'll probably just use water-based stains uh, once I use up all my uh, toner lacquers as well. Um, it's just kind of a hassle to uh, store all the aerosol cans and then all the uh, safety issues that uh, and health issues that come along with it. Um, this Timbermate product here, I love it. Um, again, this is just a natural base that I'm going to use because again, I'm going to be going over and I'll probably use a water base grain filler as well, but I'm um, we'll probably put a little dye in to uh, accentuate some of the uh, open pores here on the uh, wanna. So uh, let me get started here by uh, filling in some of these voids. We'll let it dry for a period of time. I'll sand it off and then uh, we'll take a look at the uh, results. All right, all I'm going to do is just get a little bit out right here and just uh, work it in. doesn't take much. And the, uh, the cool thing about this particular uh, wood filler and grain filler, you can uh, save all your your remnants or your waste and uh, just place it back in the uh, container and again just uh, bring it back to life with uh, just a little bit of water so it doesn't get any easier than that and again some of these grain lines that I end up closing up here I'll go back with my exacto knife and uh, try to uh, create some uh, new grain lines. I just want to get rid of the uh, larger voids. The other uh, beauty about this product, you don't really get the shrinkage that you might see on other products and uh, end up with a uh, crack in that area in the future. So uh, let me grab a, uh, I think I got an old credit card here, a plastic card. Let me just smooth this out here. And then uh, we'll wipe it off with my fingers and we'll be done. Again, all I want to do is just uh, wipe this off. And again, I'm going to go uh, across the uh, grain so I can actually just fill those voids in. And I just want to go back and forth here. And again, I'm just trying to get some of the uh, larger voids filled in at this time. And then, uh, again, this really won't take long at all for this to dry. And I'll go in here and uh, sand this off. And uh, we'll look at the results. Okay, some time has passed and uh, we've got this sanded off now and you can see the uh, wood filler is uh, down in the uh, majority of those uh, grooves and the uh, the cool thing is there's still some open pores there so when I apply some stain like in this area right here it's like I missed it uh, not a lot of filler in that area it will uh, deepen up and uh, look good again this top is going to be a very dark maybe like a chocolate brown so a lot of the grain won't even show itself um, unfortunately 
and again unless I like to go with a uh, lighter uh, toner on this uh, entire top section so uh, anyway this is the uh, best it's going to be um, it's all the time I'm going to spend on it a little more sanding here on the uh, cabinet and uh, we're about ready for the uh, stain what I need uh, you guys help on I'm going to take out my other uh, twin Zenith and I want you to look at the uh, pieces of veneer that I stained and I, want, I need you to vote if you would on which one you think is a closer match to the original finish or what I believe to be the original finish on my uh, twin Zenith 5S29 thanks again in advance for your uh, help